For us, in wrapping up the RPO, the RPO is tying in the quick passes off of our run action. So it really helps the quarterback have a chance to read off the linebacker, off an alley player, and make a quick decision, get the ball out quick. When we move now into our play action, we're going to be staying with basically the same runs, primarily inside zone, the stretch play, and our power read look. And now we're looking at the home run. So what I want to do is just very quickly just run through, kind of give you a quick idea on our protections. Because what we do in our play action is it's going to have a chance to maximize protection and at the same time give the quarterback a chance to hit the home run. We know that if, they not, if they're not bringing a pressure, we now have chance for a tight end on a check down and the running back on a check down. And I'll try and show on a couple of the video clips how important that is to help open up seams and throwing lanes for the deeper route, the deep crosses in particular, when we have the check down part of the route. What we do, if we're play faking the inside zone here to the tight end side, what you're going to see is basically to that side, the guard and tackler are going to be on a man side. The running back has the inside linebacker to any down secondary. So if they're bringing a nickel off the backside edge, he's got the play side linebacker to the backside nickel. If he's got somebody else on the front side, he's got to be alert to that. The tight end is the guy that has a play side nickel or a corner fire. So if we have either a nickel or a safety that's firing off of his side, we got a corner that's firing off of his side, he has that player in protection before he runs his route. If he doesn't have anybody there initially, he can actually even really sell that route and slam that defensive end, buy some time for the offensive tackle to help influence that safety so that we have a chance to throw the post, to throw a crosser in behind it. I'll show you a couple of those routes as we get going in, into those routes. But our basic thing when we go play action is above all is protection. We want to protect the quarterback. We're not necessarily worried about a great, great play fake. We're not necessarily worried about a great run action on our play action. We believe this is now more of a standpoint where we're, we're depending on the backfield action and basically for the reaction of who's been coming down in the run support to throw our big route down the field. So let's take a look at some of our play action routes. First of all, two things in our play action pass that we want to really make sure that our quarterback understands. The first one is simply who the sack threat is. You looked at the protection just a little bit ago. What we do if we are play faking with the inside zone, we're going to go man protection on that side. We're going to slide to the backside. Our running back is the guy that has to be responsible for basically the guys we talked about as F1 or F2. In this particular situation, I put the nickel on the backside, so the running back is responsible for the play side linebacker. If he is not blitzing, the running back is also alert to any secondary rotation. If you're getting this safety rotating back, there's a great chance they're bringing the pressure off the backside so now that running back will actually come back and he is responsible for the backside nickel coming off the edge if he is not he is going to continue to spot up and or work backside in his control route and his check down routes those are going to be very important for helping the quarterback with his progression the tight end is going to be slam blocking just like we're running the zone or even a stretch play he's checked down to the front side He's the one that's responsible for either a safety or a corner fire on his side. If he's getting rotation there, he is alert to the rotation. He's got to be the guy to pick up the front side edge. In the pass game now, what we're looking at, we said the quarterback has got to be responsible, number one, for the sack threat. We should be in great situation with our protection. But number two then, he has to confirm basically the cover threat. What we talk about in our cover threat is first of all, who's the run force on the play on our run game? If we know we're getting a safety coming down and he's the run player, we want to attack him. So in other words, the first thing quarterback is going to do is he's going to see these two safeties in particular because we want to hit the home run, come back to the intermediate route, or finally throw the check down if we need to. The safeties are the guys that are going to tell us if we have a shot at the home run route. So in this case, if we know this safety here is going to be the down player, whether he is coming down inside, outside, he's the run support player. We know we have a great chance. We want to attack this area here, whether we're getting a post route from the front side, whether we're getting a backside far cross or a backside post, whether we're getting a vertical with the backside deep dig or even coming into the post, we want to attack the player that's responsible for the run force. And so the quarterback is alert to basically the cover threat and understanding what those safeties are telling him. They will tell him right out of the gate, if they're getting depth, I don't have the home run. Come back to the intermediate and the check down. If they're coming down, we want the home run. And let's take a look and see our matchup. And if I don't have the home run, now come back to the intermediate route because I've basically eliminated the deep cover guy in the play action.